More than two decades have now passed since the murder of a six-year-old Boulder girl, a case that captivated the world's attention. Now, as we know, the person who killed Jean Benet Ramsey has never been brought to justice. And tonight, 2020 revisited the crime and continued the call for justice. And it included insight from veteran Denver journalist Paula Woodward. And tonight, she sits down with chief investigative reporter Tony Kowaleski to talk about the big unanswered questions 24 years later. Patsy Ramsey dialed 911, telling police her daughter had been kidnapped. Why? Well, she had found a ransom note. The news broke the day after Christmas in 1996. Then around 1.30 yesterday afternoon, police say a family member found the little girl's body during what they call a more thorough search of the home. A beauty pageant winner, a murder mystery. Let me address very directly, I did not kill my daughter, John Bonet. But let me... It captivated the world. There was no accountability for the mistakes that were made. Paula Woodward is one of the most respected investigative reporters in Denver history. 24 years later, I would say it's never been about the death of a little girl. John Bonet enjoys painting ceramics. It's about all the things that contributed to it. I want to be... Especially the child beauty pageant videos and pictures. She has covered the story and uncovered details since the very beginning. The story is one of the top stories I've covered. I had so many unanswered questions. I wanted to find out how many back room deals were done on this story. Woodward's book, We Have Your Daughter, dives into the 24-year-old investigation and the questions that remain unanswered. Why did people behave so badly? The police, the district attorney's office, the media. Why were they so obsessed with convicting the Ramses when the evidence wasn't there? Do you think we are going to find the person responsible for ending Jean Benet's life? I think the person who killed Jean Benet Ramsey can be found through DNA but you have to actively search for it. And I don't know if the Boulder Police Department, who has control of the case now, is doing that. When people recognize you and walk up to you, what are the questions you get about this case? The most common question I get is, what do you think happened? Who did it? That's the question. And I've never answered it. I don't know who did it. I just don't like all that was done wrong on this case from day one. I wish that someone would take enough initiative to say, hey, this really was wrong. Let's see if there's anything left to do. And I think what's left to do is follow that DNA. A respected investigative reporter now calling for action and accountability. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.